guys, welcome back to Project Anonymous. In today's video, we're going to make some custom 3D printed keychains. So stick around, see how we do it. Rather than redrawing your design in Fusion 360, we're going to take advantage of our previously drawn design in Inkscape. We're just going to take away the color and just have the outline. Yeah, and then we can just import this into Fusion 360 as an SVG. Mm -hmm. So now we'll open up Fusion 360 and we'll start a new sketch. And we'll go ahead and make the outline of our key ring, which is just going to be a circle. We'll make it about 50 millimeters. And then uh, we'll draw an inner circle so we can have a nice border on the edge. All right, now we can uh, import our SVG. And to do this, we just have to go to this insert and insert SVG. And it will open up your SVG file onto the same plane that you're sketching on. And we're just going to resize it a little bit bigger so it fits in our circle nicely instead of being like super small or super big. That looks right just there. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's centered. Look at it. Yep, it's around the right plane. It looks nice. And now we just need to extrude our design Make into a 3D shape. Mm -hmm. So super flat. So we'll just highlight everything and extrude. Okay, when you do an extrusion, it will hide your sketches. So we just re-enable showing the sketch. And then we're gonna highlight the parts that we wanna extrude uh, up in the up direction. And there you have it. And that'll be what our, our main keychain looks like. Mm -hmm. Now we just need to add a loop so we can put the key ring through it. So we're gonna design that now in a new sketch. Make the keychain whole. Now I'm going to extrude this shape out. So I'm going to change the setting here and I'm going to make it a symmetric pole so it goes in both directions and it kind of defaults into a cut but we'll go ahead and change it to a join so that it creates uh, the material there instead of cutting it out. And that looks perfect. Mm -hmm. And then here you can see in that hole, it didn't get rid of uh, the material from the original object. So we're going to have to pull through the smaller hole to cut that out. So we'll go ahead and bring back the sketch and highlight the hole. And then we'll extrude this in uh, both directions again. But this one, we're gonna leave it as a cut. And now, there it is. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty nice. Yep, so that's a good design. Now we can just uh, save it as a file that our slicer can use to 3D, or to set up the 3D print. Okay, so we'll go to Tools, Make, and we'll go ahead and save this as Keychain. Now we've opened up our slicer, Ultimaker Cura. We're going to go open up our STL file that we just made. And it stood up on its side there, so we're just going to uh, 
move the face that we want down or stuck to the table. We just did that there. And we're going to use a TPU material to print this out so it's a nice and flexible keychain. So we'll make sure our heat settings are correct and all of our all of our settings are correct for this. And we'll just go through that. And we're going to want to put a little skirt around this just because TPU material can uh, take a while to kind of come out the nozzle. We want to make sure we have a nice flow of the material before we start printing. Looks like it's going to take 58 minutes. I always like to look at the preview before we print just to make sure we're not going to run into any issues. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then we'll just bring it into Octoprint. And we can just hit the print button and then we'll start. Now that we have our keychain printed, let's add some color. All right. Let's do it. The size of thickness. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have finished our keychain, we decided to make some improvements of our original design. First of all, uh, this, though it printed out nicely and you did a great job coloring it Thank in, you. it's kind of on the thick side for a keychain. It is still flexible, but um, it's, not as thin. Yeah, it's still wanted. a little thick. And we also we didn't add any fillets along the edge, so it's kind of not sharp, but you know, it's got 90 degree corners on there that isn't as nice in the hand as what we would want. So we ended up redesigning, uh, making it a little bit thinner, as you can see here, about two thirds the thickness of the original. And we added fillets along the edge, so it has a nice rounded edge. And it, because it's thinner, it's a little bit more flexible than the original. But both turned out great. So if you have any questions or video ideas or anything you want us to do, go ahead and comment that down below. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time you post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy.